The iconic Sofia Loren was born Sofia Villani Siccolone in Rome on September 20, 1934. She is an Italian actress who performed and appeared in numerous Italian and American films. She was nominated for 113 awards, of which she won 74 of them, nine of which are honor awards. She won one Oscar, one BAFTA, and four Golden Globe Awards. Her performance in the 1961 movie, Two Women, earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress, making her the first actor, or actress, to win an Oscar for a foreign language performance. She met her future husband, Italian film producer, Carlo Ponti practically at the beginning of her acting career. However, he was married. The Catholic Church and Italy had strict laws against divorce. However, in 1957, they thought they were able to bypass the law by getting married in Mexico. However, Italy did not recognize the marriage as legit, and annulled their marriage in 1962. Shortly after they both gained French citizenship, Sofia and Carlo got married in Paris in 1966. This time, Italy recognized their marriage. A few years afterwards, they had two children. Their marriage lasted till 2007, when Carlo passed away. Sofia never remarried. Sofia's mother, Romilda Villani, was a piano teacher, and an aspiring actress herself. When Romilda was pregnant with Sofia, Ricardo Siccolone, the father, refused to marry her, making Sofia an illegitimate child. Despite abandoning her, four years later in 1938, Ricardo and Romilda had another daughter, who they named Maria. At the time Ricardo was married, and, again, abandoned Romilda, who now has two of his daughters. They grew up in extreme poverty, in the slums of Pazuli, during the Second World War. The harbor and munitions plant in Pazuli was a frequent bombing target for the Allies. Because of the war, food was scarce. Romilda, Sofia and Maria often suffered from malnutrition. Before reaching her teens, she was cruelly nicknamed, Little Stick, because she was very thin and considered ugly. Little did she know, that one day she would become a sex symbol in the US and Europe. In her teens, she often went to see movies. Like many women of her time, she loved films Cary Grant starred in. In 1950, at age 15, she entered into a beauty contest, and placed as one of the finalists. It was here, that Sofia caught the attention of film producer Carlo Ponti, who was 22 years older. Under his guidance, Sofia was put under contract, and appeared as an extra in 10 Italian films. Her mother also appeared as an extra in many of the same films. She also started modeling for magazines. Sofia then worked her way up to supporting roles. In these early films, she was credited as Sofia Lazaro because people joked her beauty could raise Lazarus from the dead. However, Carlo Ponti, who was now managing her career, changed her name to Sofia Loren in order to appeal to a wider audience. By her late teens, Sofia was playing lead roles in many Italian features. Her first starring role was in, Aida, in 1953, for which she received critical acclaim. In 1954 and 1955, Sofia Loren co-starred with Marcello Mastroianni, in the Italian films, Too Bad, She's Bad, and, La Bella Magnea. Both films became popular with Italian audiences, and these were the first, of many films, in which both would co-starred in. In Italy, her breakthrough role was in the film, The Gold of Naples, in 1954. She caught the attention of Hollywood, and in 1956, signed a five-picture contract with Paramount. The 1957 movie, Boy on a Dolphin, is the movie, that began to get Sophia Loren recognized internationally. In the 1957 film, The Pride and the Passion, Sophia Loren starred with Cary Grant. During her teens, Cary Grant was the object of her desire. So, unsurprisingly, she and Cary started a relationship. At the time, she was 22, while he was 53. Cary Grant even proposed marriage to her. Sophia was now torn between Cary Grant and Carlo Ponti. The jealous, Carlo, who is still legally married, probably looked for a way he could legally get married to Sophia.
Under Mexican law, he found that he could get legally divorced from his wife, and marry Sofia. So, in September of 1957, they both flew to Mexico, to get married. Sofia and Cary Grant again starred together in the 1958 film, Houseboat. However, due to being rejected, Cary Grant felt bitterness, and the production of the film did not go smoothly. In 1960, Sofia returned to Italy, and began acting in the 1961 Italian film, Two Women. The movie is about a mother, who is trying to protect her 12-year-old daughter in war-torn Italy. Sofia was considered too young, to play the part of the mother, but she insisted on playing that part. She drew on her real-life experiences, and gave a powerful performance. Miss Lauren won 22 international awards for her performance in Two Women, including an Oscar. In the 1961 acclaimed film, El Cid, she co-starred with Charlton Heston. Sophia remained a bona fide international movie star throughout the 60s and 70s, making films on both sides of the Atlantic, and starring opposite such leading men as Paul Newman, Marlon Brando, Gregory Peck, and, the aforementioned, Charlton Heston. However, after starting a family in the late 60s, Miss Lauren chose to make rarer film appearances, so that she can spend more time raising her sons. In the late 70s and into the early 80s, Sophia Loren and her family lived outside of Italy, because Italy brought up tax evasion charges against both Carlo Ponti and Sophia Loren. In 1982, she voluntarily went back to Italy, was arrested, tried, and sentenced for 30 days. She spent 19 days in jail, before being released. The charges and sentencing failed to hamper her popularity, or her career. In 2013, the Supreme Court of Italy cleared her of the charges. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, Miss Lauren continued being selective about choosing her film roles. At the same time, she ventured into various areas of business, including cookbooks, eyewear, jewelry, and perfume. According to the beautiful Sophia Loren, sex appeal is 50% what you have got, and 50% is, what people think you have got. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative, and, entertaining. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. We do like to know, and, hear your feedback. We also have merchandise, available for purchase, on our Teespring store. Link to our store, is in the description section below. And, if you have the means, please consider supporting us on Patreon, where we post bonus material. Till next time, this is the Peeping Looney, saying cheers, and, have a good day.